Hi, what's cracking with y'all? It's your boy Prince the Hustle God, aka Wise the Warlock, and we reaching, reaching, reaching in our combat tool bag one more again. It is a cool black affair. Shout out to the mighty LDBC, LDBC only, LDBC everywhere, LDBC or nothing. So what is next for King Kong, Luis, King Kong Ortiz? Um, he had, in my opinion, uh, to be the age that he is to, um, be fighting after, um, two terrible knockouts to Deontay Wilder. Um, I think Luis King Kong Ortiz did a wonderful job. He's always going to be a top-level um, heavyweight because of his... <clears throat> people like to say the Cuban school of boxing. And to me, that's, that can be an overstatement and an understatement. An understatement in reference to the fighter himself, that fighter's IQ in particular... Luis King Kong Ortiz, because of age, may not have the most physical attributes or gifts to work in his advantage right now because of time. But he has um, one of, if not the most or the highest boxing IQ at heavyweight. Um, Usyk and Fury are given a lot of credit um, for being wizards when it comes to boxing. And I use that word on purpose. But that's by a consensus in boxing that is not um, that is not the majority. Um, but when we look at Luis King Kong Ortiz and you look at the traps he was setting up on Andy Ruiz when you look at the counters, um, when, when, when you look at his lateral movement and agility, it, it's there, but it's off. And um, it's only because he's, and only because of time being aged out, being uh, weighted out and frozen out until now. And you see the downside of what can happen of be of being frozen out of something or um, being aged out? He's a prime result, similar to a bantamweight uh, or the bantamweight um, specialist Guillermo El Chacal Rigandal. So, what is next for him? He lost to. Um, Top tier, high quality heavyweight. He has discipline issues, um, Andy Ruiz, uh, with his training and with his eating and with his uh, his interchangeable uh, posse members, if you will, or entourage members. But. You throw all of that aside and you look at Andy Ruiz for who he is and you'll see he's a phenomenal fighter. All it takes is his self-belief and discipline, consistency, um, but has only lost to uh, Joseph Parker and Anthony Joshua. Uh, yeah, so when I look at Luis King Kong Ortiz, I still say um, he can fight uh, at heavyweight he doesn't have to hang it up I would say it may be time to call it a day at the highest level at the elite level going for titles <clears throat> that may be hard for him to accept but I think because of being frozen out I can understand why he wouldn't want to uh, stop boxing so if you want to continue, I'd say get your money 
um, fight people that um, are past past their prime as well. I think, um, or or even in question, it doesn't have to necessarily be uh, tomato cans. You can still have an exciting fight. I believe what's next for Luis King Kong Ortiz should be um, Adam Kalnaki. Adam Kalnaki and Luis King Kong Ortiz would be a very, very entertaining heavyweight bout. Adam Kalnaki is a volume puncher who has defensive lapses but is getting better defensively. He uh, has lost a lot of self belief. And feels as though he's at the end of his rope because of back-to-back losses to Robert Hellenius. But um, and then you have Luis King Kong T, is a slick uh, counter puncher, high IQ uh, boxer puncher. Who, I mean, I would obviously take Luis King Kong or T's in that fight, but it's still a worthwhile fight to see, seeing as um, both can be viewed as at the end of their rope. That said, until next time, guys, uh, please check out and support everything LDBC, everything LDBC, Trilitary, um, Usual Suspect 6. Please shop Usual Suspect 6, get your combat tool bag gear, um, and support every in- each and every individual Usual Suspect on their prospective channels. Uh, please check out my OG Kano Loco Sports <clears throat> and Acting Right TV, HFO Church, as well as 94 uh, Sun God and 94 Films. Deuces.